Russ, welcome on board the new Gulfstream G650. This is the largest, longest range, fastest business jet that Gulfstream has built in its 50 years history. And uh, it's also another first because it's the first time that at six foot four, I'm able to stand up full height in this, ca in this cabin, not bend over. So that'll give you some idea of the, the space that we're looking at. What you're looking at here is two sections of the aircraft. Uh, there will, in fact, be as many as four sections in the full airplane, including a crew rest area, forward galley, a forward lab for the crew, and an aft lab for the passengers. And what that means is that on a long-range uh, trip, uh, the crew can be up front while the people in the back uh, are able to sleep without being interrupted. Now, when I say long-range, let me give you a little... Uh, uh, example at 0.85 mark this aircraft will go 7,000 nautical miles that's anywhere in the world one stop at 0.9 mark this aircraft will go uh, 5,000 nautical miles which will still take you most places you want to go and if you really want to put the pedal to the metal this aircraft at 0.925 mark will in fact be the fastest commercial uh, aircraft business or otherwise uh, flying. How long we'll keep that record will be interesting to see. You can count on the fact that somebody's going to want to challenge us on that fairly soon. Let me just show you a couple of other quick features if I may. The first thing that you might notice is the size of the windows. These are 16% larger than the classic uh, windows in, in previous Gulfstream aircraft. And also you might notice that they've been raised, so you don't have to do duck your head down to look out the window. You can sit, look straight out, see everything that's going on, and obviously you get more natural sunlight in the cabin as a result of that, which is easier on your, on your body and, and jet lag and fatigue. Talking about uh, comfort in the cabin, the cabin altitude, that is the altitude in the aircraft, uh, when it's flying, when you're at f uh, flight level 510 or 51,000 feet, the cabin altitude is at 4,800 feet. When you're at uh, flight level 410, 41,000 feet, the cabin altitude is 2,400. That compares with about 7,500 feet in a commercial airliner. So again, less stress, less uh, pressure on your body, and therefore you arrive more comfortably. Obviously, uh, we don't have it in this aircraft yet, but you can see over here an in-flight entertainment system. Well, not only can you watch your, your favorite videos on that, but, for example, if you're going to a presentation with a prospective customer, you can rehearse your presentation en route. And with these aircraft, which, which basically are positioned as um, mobile offices, you'll have broadband multilink, which means you can use your laptop throughout the entire flight envelope, You'll have satellite communication, so you can use your telephone. You don't have to turn it off at takeoff and landing. You'll have a fax machine on board. Everything that you need to keep current, and also a galley if somebody would like to make you a nice meal. So that's what we're talking about with the new G650. Uh, the first flight of this aircraft will take place in the second half of next year, 2009, and this aircraft will enter service second half of 2012, we're going to have five airplanes in the test program, three classic test airplanes. Two of them will be fully kitted out because we intend to test the interior of the aircraft as rigorous, rigorously as we test everything else. So that, in a nutshell, is Gulfstream's new G650. Thank you for joining us.